My name's Quincy Williams. What I'm measuring is really the bottom of the channel. What we're going for here is looking at how much water is coming through a given area. I'm Derek Martin. I'm uh, an associate professor in the Department of Geography and Planning. So I've got a team of students with me uh, that's going to be helping me out this semester on monitoring some of the river system geomorphology here on the Watauga River. There's a dam that's going to be removed uh, a couple miles upstream from here, and so we're out collecting baseline uh, geomorphology data to have uh, a basis for comparison for after the dam comes out. Uh, we started recording this data last about a year ago, um, and then COVID hit. I have been fortunate in my research yep. to, to be able to continue collecting data yep. because the nature of our research is, you know, we're, we're out here in the, in the open air um, and a lot of what we do, as you'll see, involves people standing far apart and stuff like that. So, right now we're just taking... Yeah, my name is Josh Platt. Um, I am a geography major, um, actually finishing my undergrad. The field work is, is easy. Um, you know, it's you can come out here and like you see we're 50 meters apart sometimes <laughs> uh, so it's, it's easy to stay distant. My name is Tatiana McGee and I'm getting a master's in geography. I'm very passionate about like doing hands-on things, being able to see what it is I'm working with and then working with it outside of the field is something that I really want to carry on into my career. There's like a personal connection to it, which I think is important. Like whenever we first started doing field work, that was the first time I had seen anyone new. Going across the channel, we're really getting a profile of it. It's really important to study these dams as they're being taken out. It is a small group, so I am comfortable with that, but studying in the time of COVID is strange. 